Before you start recording with the Pro Tools Recording Studio, you need to connect your gear to the M-Audio Fast Track USB audio interface. Plug your headphones into the jack on the front of the Fast Track labeled with a headphone icon. Connect an amplifier or powered speakers to the red and white RCA line outputs on the back of the Fast Track. Depending on your speakers, you may need a 1 8 inch stereo to dual RCA adapter like this. If you don't have headphones or an adapter, you can connect your computer speakers to the headphone output on the front. It is not possible to use your computer's built-in sound card, headphone output, or laptop speakers with Pro Tools. Dynamic microphones like the M-Audio Soundcheck can be used with a Fast Track USB. Using a standard XLR microphone cable, plug the mic into the XLR mic input on the back of the Fast Track. Condenser microphones that require phantom power to operate cannot be used with the Pro Tools Recording Studio without an external power supply. To record a guitar or bass, plug your cable into the quarter inch input labeled 2 and with a guitar icon. If you have a keyboard or synthesizer with a line level output, push the silver guitar line button in for line and connect to the same quarter inch input. Depending on the outputs of your device, you may need a Y cable. If your device has a mono output, Connect with a quarter inch to quarter inch cable. On the front of the Fast Track USB, the knob on the left is used to adjust the mic input level. This only affects the XLR mic input, not the guitar input. When recording with a microphone, it's best to monitor with headphones. If you only have speakers, make sure that you keep the microphone away from the speakers and be careful when turning up the input level. If the speakers feed back into the microphone, you can generate a potentially loud and damaging high pitched squeal. You want to turn up the level so that the green signal LED responds when you sing into the mic. If the red peak LED lights up when singing, turn the level down. These LEDs are only connected to the XLR mic input. They will not respond to a guitar connected to the quarter inch input. The Fast Track USB allows you to directly monitor your inputs with no latency or delay. Push the silver stereo mono button in to select mono. This will allow you to monitor either input on both sides of your headphones or speakers. The mix knob in the middle controls what you hear through the headphones and speakers. When turned all the way to the left, you will only hear your direct input signal. As you turn to the right, playback from the computer is blended in, and when turned all the way to the right, you will only hear playback from the computer. The output level on the right controls the headphone and line outputs for your speakers. Sing into your mic or play your guitar, and slowly turn up the level. You should hear your input signal in your headphones or speakers. Turn the mix knob to the right and notice how your input signal fades out. In the next video, we'll start by creating a new session from a template and taking a look at Pro Tools.